Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 3 times 1 minus 2 times 2 inside parentheses. Maybe this is the easiest challenge you've ever seen. But a lot of students make this common mistake. They don't know what is the correct order, what is the correct property, correct solution, correct definition. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself and in the end of the video we will check our answers. We will check our solutions. But right now uh, choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B, option C or option D. So let's solve our challenge. Here's our challenge. We have 3 inside parentheses. We have 1 minus 2 times 2. Here's our challenge. As you can see here we have multiplication, we have subtraction, sign, we have multiplication. We have a lot of mass operations, right? One part of students start with multiplication right here, another part of students start with subtraction, another part of students start with multiplication right here. It turns out to big arguments. A lot of students argue with each other about that. They don't know what is the correct order, correct property, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer. So we should know what is the correct order. We can solve our challenges randomly, we can do whatever we want. So let's look at this PEMDAS sort of operation. This is the most popular sort of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS sort of operation. How does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority. Next is exponents. It's like 2 squared, 2 cubed, like that. Next is multiplication, division group, and last step is addition and subtraction. So let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS. Here's our challenge, 3 times 1 minus 2 times 2. Here's our challenge. Let's kind of a challenge. Let's look at it. We have parentheses, right? First we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. We find our parentheses, this is our first step. Inside parentheses we have multiplication, we have subtraction sign. What we should do at first? We should subtract or we should multiply. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. As you can see, multiplication has the higher position than subtraction. It means that multiplication has the higher priority. Our second step is multiplication. We should multiply 2 times 2. What do we have? We have 3 in parentheses so we have 1 minus 4. So we complete our second step multiplication. Our third step is subtraction, right? Because subtraction sign is inside parentheses. This is our third step. We should subtract. So we have 3 inside parentheses. We have 1 minus 4, which is equal to minus, minus 3, right? Which is equal to, which is equal to our last step multiplication, 3 times minus 3, which is equal to minus minus 9, right? This is option D. We don't have any exponents, we don't have any division, we don't have any addition, right? This is option D, this is a correct answer. Because all the time I see that my students start with subtraction right here, another part of students start with multiplication right here. We can do whatever we want, we can solve our challenges absolutely randomly. We should know what is the correct order, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer, right? And we solve this challenge according to PEMDAS. First, we find our parentheses, parentheses we have right here. Inside parentheses, we have two sciences. We have multiplication sign, we have subtraction sign. First, we should, we should multiply, because multiplication has the higher position than subtraction. Multiplication has the higher priority. 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Our third step is subtraction, because subtraction sign is inside parentheses. 1 minus 4, which is equal to minus 3. Our last step is multiplication. 3 times minus 3, which is equal to minus 9. This is option D. This is a correct answer. This is a correct approach, correct solution. And I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.